Hey guys, Nick here from TechCore Duo. In this video, I'm going to install Radar on our Synology. In my last video, we installed Sonar, so we're going to be going through the same process pretty much, but just installing Radar. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open up your Package Center. You're going to go over to Community. And if you don't have this Community tab, you can just follow along in my other video. It's one of my older ones on how to install the Community tab. Um, I will link that in the description below. So all we need to do is type in Radar. You'll see Radar here. You can go ahead and click Install. It's going to install Mono along with it, so we'll click Yes. And we'll let this proceed real quick. Alright, so you're going to be greeted with the pop-up that says that um, Radar is going to be started in just a few moments. So we're going to go ahead and just click on Next. And then um, it's going to ask for permissions for the download related. So the group is SC download in the um, DSM manager. So just keep note of that. We're going to go to next. And then of course, here is just more info. We're going to click apply. So before we start up radar, um, here's the URL down here. Let's go ahead and just check our uh, control panel. We're going to go to groups. And you're going to see the SC download here. So what you can do is you can click on edit, permissions, and you can give it permissions to certain folders. So the SC download, uh, give permissions to Plex if that's where your media is. Um, you can give it permissions to whatever you want. So I have it for Plex. I'm going to just leave it as that and click OK. Close this and let's go ahead and open up Radar. And here we are. So Radar is installed. We can go to system, you can see that there are no indexers, um, no download clients, we haven't set that up, but this is pretty much it. So if we want to type in a movie, let's do uh, cloudy, let's see what comes up. Here, partly cloudy, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. You can go ahead and select the path, the folder. So we're going to click on browse, scroll down, I believe it should be under volume one, and then under plex. And as you can see, you can select your folder that you want to download it to. So I'm just going to close that. And you can click the Add button to add that along with any profiles that you have set up. So uh, just make sure that you guys go ahead under Settings, set up your indexers in here, set up your download client. So you can choose your download client, Luge, Utor, and Cubitor. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave them below. Like and subscribe and enjoy your day.